All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we kind of knew that we were going to be making this video at some point in time. You know, we 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 weren't sure because Alyssa McConte tends to not exactly be the most truthful person out there, but she could at least muster up enough money to send a cease and desist letter to Smash JT. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we now officially have the first move of one of the originators of Gamergate 2, where she's trying to essentially threaten to sue Smash JT. Come fight me. Physically, <laughs> bitch. Has anyone taken you up on that yet? No, because they're all pussies. Yep. Now we have an article here from That Park Place with a headline that reads Smash JT responds to Kotaku senior editor Alyssa Mercante sending a cease and desist letter to him and says we will counter sue for everything you're coming after me with. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Smash JT has done nothing wrong. Anybody with a brain can obviously see that. And Alyssa Mercante isn't exactly somebody who has a brain. We already can see considering that she really believes that what she is doing is the right thing and everybody around her is trying to convince her yeah queen keep doing what you're doing meanwhile everybody who's not in her echo chamber is trying to tell her yeah this is pretty dumb what are you doing she's a psychopath or at least she acts like one and she seems to be starved for attention from smash jt because she's specifically targeting him out of everybody else the millions of people who have made videos on Alyssa mercante and she chooses Smash JT out of all of them. So let's get into this article, guys, from that park place. But of course, before we do, if you are new here, just consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into that YouTube algorithm. It says Alyssa Mercante, senior editor at Kotaku, has sent YouTuber Smash JT a cease and desist letter, a legend that he defamed and harassed her. In a YouTube upload, Smash JT announced Alyssa Mercante has now sent an official decease, uh, cease and desist letter from her lawyer about how he needs to apologize for things he said to her because they're defamatory in nature, which is interesting because everything he has said has been a response and using what she said to form his opinion and explain why he feels that way about her. Shout out to the thumbnail, by the way, uh, Smash JT. Very, very good. <laughs> from there, Smash JT addressed Mer uh, Mercante's lawyer, Lane Haygood, which, by the way, we could talk about Lane Haygood this man's a psycho, and I am almost positive, okay? And again, I don't know. This is my own opinion, but I am almost positive that he is doing this for free or at the very least extremely cheap in order to make Alyssa Mercante be able to afford it, okay? Because at the end of the day, man, this guy is what we call an ambulance chaser lawyer, all right? This is what this is the kind of guy who would take any case regardless, and I'll even one-up that, right? This is an activist lawyer. This is someone, if you go through his tweets, which are now very public, that he has locked down his account after this video came out from Smash JT. If you go through his tweets, you're going to realize this is an activist, right? This is somebody who thinks and acts just like Alyssa Mercante. So, of course, it takes one retard to represent another retard. And this is exactly what's happening here. Lane Haygood is an activist. He is a psycho activist on Twitter and has done multitudes of different tweets that are extremely threatening physically, you know, in terms of violence and whatnot. And he's called, he's getting called out everywhere for that. And this is the person that Alyssa Mercante is getting to represent her because, of course, it is, right? Then it says from there, Smash JT addressed Mercante's lawyer, who sent the letter. This guy struck me as everything that an ambulance chaser lawyer would be, he said. That would take literally any case that anyone brought to him as long as he thought, hey, maybe I can make a quick buck or two off of this. So sure, I'll throw a letter out there. What could hurt? We'll send some scares to him. We'll make him admit into guilt that he is not guilty of. And then maybe we can use that against him to push even further and try to get more. So this is exactly what's happening. And you guys already know, I've spoken to Smash JT about this, you know, a, a while ago because I knew about this for a while now. And I told him flat out, man, do not admit anything because number one, you didn't do anything wrong. And number two, they can promise that they're going to not sue you, right? That Because that's in the letter, right? They're going to say, oh, if you retract all statements and issue an apology that we want worded the way we want, then we will not pursue further legal action. That don't mean shit because at the end of the day, they can go after you in other ways because the moment you make a video publicly admitting fault for something that you didn't do, guess what they're going to do with that video? They're going to take that video, they're going to go to YouTube, and they're going to try to get your channel taken down. I promise you, that's the ultimate goal here. That's the plan that they really have going on here, that they're trying to get Smash JT's channel taken down, and the only way they can do that is by 
by trying to get him to admit that he inflamed his audience purposefully and told them to go after Alyssa Mercante, which is what they're alleging, but he never actually did that. So again, if he if he were to admit that out of fear or whatever, then they can take that to YouTube and get get the terms of service to strike him down. Uh, then addressing Mercante, he said, and something Alyssa clearly hasn't learned yet is her words and things she says does and can bo- uh, will be used against her in a court of law, and she doesn't really want to go down this road. Now, again, guys, we have... I mean, we have like hundreds, hundreds of screenshots of what Alyssa Mercante has said, what she has done, what she has admitted to. And everything that we have is what we base our videos off of. So for her to say that what we're saying is not true about her, then that means she's lying about herself. Because everything that we have ever said, she has herself said, or at least heavily implied. And then it says from there, he shared that the letter that Haygood sent to him on behalf of Mercante, accusing him of death information and harassment and demanding he retract a number of statements and issue an apology to Mercante. He shared the letter to X that asserts Jeff. We write to you today as counsel for Alyssa Mercante. You have made unlawfully harassing and defamatory statements about Alyssa. That's your opinion, by the way, Mr. Lawyer. We could take it to a court of law to uh, make that, you know, stick. We are writing to request that you voluntarily retract them and publish an apology, the language of which we will suggest to you before we pursue other legal avenues against you. You like the wording here? Language that we will suggest to you because at the end of the day, they can't tell you what to say for shit, right? The First Amendment is an absolute thing and you have a freedom of speech and you cannot be told what to say at all. They can't threaten you and say, say this, otherwise you're done. That's not how this works. Uh, He responded to this section. No, I haven't. And you can't state that as a face or as a fact. I think he meant to say when you haven't proven it in a court of law. Exactly. They're trying to state it as a fact because this is their way to threaten people. This is the best way that they can to try to get their chest out there and make it seem as if they're totally serious about this, bro. These two are activists. And I could say this till I'm blue in the face, but that is what it is. Alyssa Mercante and Haygood, the lawyer that she hired, are both activists. And I promise you he's doing this for free to try to to bolster his career as an activist, right? To try to make everybody around him in his little echo chamber cheer him on and take him seriously and totally use him to try to own the chuds. All he's going to do is take their money for legal letters and use Alyssa Mercante as a meal ticket to try to get there. Uh, Regarding the accusation of defamation, it specifically references a number of posts Smash JT made on X. First, it points to one he posted on March 30th where he wrote, Horrification? What's that? Like what Alyssa Mercante does, sucking dicks in her off time for money? Now, again, guys, keep in mind, Alyssa Mercante has admitted on tweet, on record, multiple screenshots, I want to remind you, that she has been a former sex worker. And no, we're not talking about nude modeling, which is what this letter tries to portray. No, no, no. We're talking about actual sex work she said if i'm gonna get fucked for money i might as well go back to sex work that's what she said it is what it is you can't take it back you can't pretend like you didn't say it because we have the tweets proving it second it points to another he made on april 1st where he wrote how do i put it this way you'd grasp the amico was about as much fun as sucking 20 dicks in a row but instead of being paid for it i paid 10k to do it then Smash JT commented, notice how uh, they don't say what Alyssa said because then that would implicate her as egging me on trying to get a response because of an initial tweet on me that was making fun of my initial investment. So I figured, okay, that opened a doorway to make fun of her. But again, with Alyssa, that only goes one way. Now, keep in mind, guys, the amazing thing about all this is that there is proof out there through tweets, through videos, through everything that she absolutely is egging people on and trying to incite violence. It's amazing that this legal letter is trying to pretend like Alyssa Mercante's safety is at risk because of Smash JT when this is the same person who put out a YouTube video telling everybody if they don't like her to come fight her physically, meaning in person, meaning you have no right to safety if you're asking people to come fight you physically in person. You clearly don't care about your safety if you're doing stuff like that. So again, all of this is coming from someone who's extremely hypocritical, someone who relies on the, you know, the inflammatory nature of her articles in order to keep her name in the headlines. We haven't talked about Alyssa Mercante in well over a month. I don't know if she's even aware of that. She probably is because she's probably sad, but still, we haven't talked about her in over a month. We've been covering all bunch of shit. You'd 
Ubisoft, uh, Dragon Age Vilgard, State of Play, all this kind of stuff we've been covering in the gaming news. She hasn't wrote, written a damn thing, and now she's trying to do a lawsuit to try to get her name back out there. Nobody takes her seriously. So, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you did enjoy it. If you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.